Hello babes, welcome back to Moonspell Tarot. So before I jump into the cards, I just wanted to remind you all to please hit that subscription button down below. And also if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in my description box, okay? So today we are going to be doing a pick a card, finding out some messages for your love life. What do you need to hear right now? What is important for you? So this can be really for anybody. You know, we all can hear positive messages, whether we are in a relationship or single or somewhere in the middle if we don't really know what's going on. Um, so these are just really great messages for us to hear right now, okay? So I have four different piles today, quite a few cards each, so we do have a lot to go through. And there will be timestamps down below whenever you are ready to go ahead and jump to your reading, okay? So for pile number one, we have a selenite tower. For pile number two, we have a piece of sodalite. For pile number three, we have a piece of pink tourmaline. And then for pile number four, we have a piece of smoky quartz. So what I want you to do if you are having a hard time deciding, um, you know, which crystal is speaking to you, which one you feel like is really calling your name, which pile, is think about your current situation and think where you want to be. If you are, you know, perfectly happy in your situation and you feel good, then that's definitely going to be, you know, positive for you and really great messages. Uh, but if you're feeling a little bit different, you know, maybe that's some advice you need to hear right now. So definitely really think about, you know, exactly what you want right now, where you want to be, uh, where you want, you know, the next few months for you to go. So let's go ahead and take a nice, good, deep breath. And then I will give you all a little bit of time to uh, meditate on which crystal is really speaking to you. So. Welcome back, pile number one. So that's if you chose this little selenite tower. So let's go ahead and set them there. And we will go ahead and see what messages you are meant to hear right now. Okay, so for your tarot, you have the hermit. Very interesting. We have patience. Endurance, which is a cactus. Very cute. Um, we have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Scorpio, I transform. Okay, two Scorpio cards. Gratitude and children. Your love life is being affected by children. All right, interesting. So let's just kind of go through card by card just to get your overall message, okay? So right off the bat, you know, pulling the hermit is really showing me that you are definitely being very closed off to love. And this can be for a variety of different reasons. You know, maybe you and your partner, if you are in a relationship, haven't been getting along very well, and you two have just been, um, you know, not spending a lot of time together, not uh, really, um, you know, going on any type of dates or even just hanging out at home, things like that. I feel like you two have been very separated, and it could be um, for a variety of different reasons, of course, like maybe working a lot or just generally stressed out about things going on right now in your life. Um, or it could be for a deeper reason. Maybe you two are fighting and not getting along. And then, uh, you know, for those of you who are single, I can see, um, you know, you feeling very frustrated and just not really wanting to date. So you're kind of, you know, staying in, you're not really talking to anybody, you know, you're not uh, putting yourself out there. And so I do see you being very, um, 
very quiet, keeping to yourself. Uh, maybe you somewhat recently got out of a relationship and you're just not really wanting to see anybody right now. So, you know, I definitely see you just mostly keeping to yourself, just being, um, you know, not really wanting to date or anything right now. And um, so what I do feel like right now for you, uh, pile number one, is to kind of just sit through this. I feel like it may be a little bit of a challenge. Um, you know, I'm sure that especially for those of you who do have a partner, it's probably very frustrating to you because I'm sure that, you know, the majority of the time you and your partner get along and you enjoy, uh, you know, being around each other. But I do see that you all have, um, you know, just really not been getting along. And if you're single, I see that you haven't really been putting yourself out there for a partner. So you just really um, or maybe feeling that you don't have place in your life right now for a partner. But it, I feel like deep down it's really bothering you. So even if on the outside, you know, you're being like this prickly cactus and, um, you know, trying to, uh, you know, like guard yourself and guard your heart. I feel like deep down it's something that's really hurting you. And it's something that I really do see that you may have to be patient through. It's something that you may have to just kind of let this pass um, let this fighting pass with your partner, let this really rough season pass so you can, you know, get through it and be better. And for those of you who are single, you know, I do feel like it would benefit you a lot to, um, you know, let yourself feel these emotions that you're going through. You know, if you are currently hurting because you did go through a bad breakup and uh, somebody really hurt you, I feel like it's so important for you to work through those um, emotions and feel the way that you need to feel so you can be better down the line. You know, it's not really good to jump into relationships, of course, uh, when you've just been very hurt and people have, um, you know, very much harmed you. But I feel like you just kind of have to be patient through this time and allow yourself to heal. So overall, even, you know, if you're single or in a relationship, just give yourself that time to heal. Give yourself uh, that time to get through um, you know, whatever these problems are that you're going through, whatever's going on in your life, you just need that time to really, um, you know, just like relax and uh, get through it. And I see like for many of you, um, children may be a little bit of um, an issue right now. I'm not saying that your children are bad or anything like that, but I do see your children uh, potentially um, making things a little bit hard for you, or maybe your partner's children. Um, you know, maybe your children are at an age where you don't really have time to go out and do anything fun, and you and your partner are kind of like at arms. And um, especially if you're watching this at time of upload, um, you know, right in the middle of like lockdown and things like that, uh, you know, it can be really challenging and it's hard to um, not really spend that intimate time with your partner, right? And for those of you who are single, you know, if you have children, that can always be a challenge to find somebody who isn't being judgmental about it, or, um, you know, maybe your partner has children and you're having a hard time connecting with them, or you are meeting partners, potential partners with children, and maybe you don't want to date someone with children. Um, I feel like that children right now have become sort of like a block for you and it's frustrating. So, you know, for those of you who are in a relationship, I feel like it would be a great thing to do to like show your gratitude and try to incorporate family activities, right? Because of course, I'm sure you're quite happy to have your children. I'm sure that, you know, they add a lot of value to your life and you love them, right? But I do see uh, that there may be some frustration due to um, not spending a lot of alone time with your partner, things like that. So I would say just to bring some happiness back into your situation, it can benefit you a lot to do family activities. You know, um, maybe like a movie night with everybody where, you know, you all pick a movie and watch a bunch of movies together. Um, you know, maybe make a nice dinner and everybody sits at the table and eats. Things like that. Or if you are able to go out right now where you live and go do some things, um, especially now, you know, it's coming up on the holiday season, um, you know, going out to do something together, I feel like would really benefit a lot. And it would also, you know, show your partner that that beef is kind of squashed, that you two can get along and be happy. And then for those of you who are single, you know, I feel like to get help you get through this time and, you know, endure this time that's very like frustrating for you, I feel like it would help you a lot to you know, be grateful that you do have your children, um, you know, because of course, when you're single, it's really hard to find a partner and 
you know, you meet so many toads before you find um, your prince or princess charming. So it can be a really great challenge. So appreciate and be grateful for the love that you have. And, you know, even for those of you that are married or in a relationship, be grateful for what you do have because it's so important. And while you are being grateful, that is pushing out good energy and good vibes and love. And that's just inviting more love back into your life. So if you're feeling kind of frustrated uh, with your personal situation, you know, maybe you feel like your partner are not connecting and it's just like really hard right now. I would definitely say, you know, to make sure that you're being grateful um, for your children, being grateful for your family. And, you know, you and your partner or you and a potential partner will definitely work it out. You know, um, if you have someone to like maybe watch your kids or um, maybe doing like a babysitter, things like that. I feel like when you take away that blockage of this is a problem and this is frustrating and I'm kind of getting worn out, I need to do something, and you turn it into love and happiness, that's going to help that go away. And that's going to help it dissolve. And that's going to help you be able to, um, you know, figure out a solution to the um, to your problems right now and your frustrations. And so that's, you know, it's going to help you and your partner get along better or a future partner, um, you know, and just be, I feel like being grateful is so important. And that's something that a lot of people um, tend not to do. So, you know, I definitely feel like it's um, going to benefit you so much to just show gratitude to your family, show gratitude to your children if you have them. And it's overall going to be a much um, easier, um, you know, transition into dating if that's what you do. And uh, you did pull two Scorpio cards, which is interesting. So, uh, for those of you who are Scorpio, or if you have a lot of Scorpio in your house, or maybe even a lot of water signs, because a lot of water signs tend to be um, like transformative and uh, go with the flow and tend to change very often and, you know, change their minds and change their outlooks on life. Um, so, you know, this could even benefit you if you're Pisces as well, or even Cancer. Um so I feel like you're definitely going to go through a transformation and I feel like you are going to be able to work through this situation, even though it's very frustrating and, you know, you really want some, you know, attention from your partner, you want some attention from a potential partner and you feel frustrated because, you know, maybe you have a hard time um, finding someone to watch your children um, just due to, you know, maybe not a lot of family or something like that. Um, but I do see that you're frustrated and you desperately need a night of fun where you're not watching Spongebob. <laughs> so, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, we all need that. We all need alone time. And so I do see that you are just going through this frustration. Um, but I do see you going through a transformation. Um, I do see you working through this problem. It just takes you to kind of like endure this and... Um, you know, show gratitude. I feel like the sooner you show gratitude and the sh sooner you're showing um, appreciation for life, that's when this situation is going to turn around for you. And you are going to be able to, you know, spend time with your partner, come out of this kind of like hermit uh, mode that you're in and be able to enjoy your life and be happy. And, and um, overall, just, you know, have fun with your family, have fun with your kids, have fun with your partner. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, again, all of the information is in my description box. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number two. So that's if you chose this piece of sodalite. Okay, so let's see what your love messages are. What do you need to hear right now? What is important for you? Okay, so we have charity. For your tarot, which is specific to that deck, uh, weave. Interesting. Okay. Um, it's flipped over. Okay. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. Tranquility. Don't let pride get in your way. Aquarius, I know and intuition okay so right off the bat I see you know that you are having some financial problems right now which can you know as we all know greatly affect our love life you know especially if we're in a relationship and we're you know really struggling in that relationship with money that can be a great problem and 
I feel as if you have like a very giving heart and you are a kind person, you know, like uh, whatever somebody needs, you're willing to do that for them, which is great. But I feel like in a way you maybe have like overdone yourself, especially right now if you're watching this at time of upload, um, but it could be at any time. But, you know, maybe during the holiday seasons, maybe you do too much for other people, um, overbuy, uh, things like that and over shop and you know, you're just facing some financial problems. Um, maybe there's been like a job loss, something like that. So I feel as if you're a very giving person and a very kind person, which is great. But I also see that you may be having some financial problems and that is really putting a damper on, um, you know, your relationship. And for those of you that are single, um, you know, maybe you just feel so like frustrated by your money problems that you are kind of just like, overwhelmed by it and so you're not really wanting to go out and date you just feel frustrated um you know especially like if you're watching this like i said a time of upload uh with covid and everything you may feel frustrated that you know if you never got called back to work or you're having a hard time finding a job after um things like that i see that as being like a very big frustrating thing for a lot of people so i see overall no matter if you're in a relationship or not i see your love life being greatly affected by your finances i see you um just being overall very frustrated about um you know how much money you have and um you're more worried about like you know your bills and things like that so i feel like love is a thought in your mind and it's very heavy in your mind but it's something that you are not um you're not fully invested in it right now because you feel very like frustrated and i feel like that you definitely are um especially for those of you in a relationship i'm seeing that you're letting your pride get in your way uh because i feel like that you you know you feel very good to do things for other people um you know, it makes you feel um, good about yourself and it makes you feel like you're, you know, being a nice person by, you know, doing things for other people. And, you know, if you go to church or something like that, giving back to the church and, you know, just helping people out through, you know, any time of the year, but especially the holidays. Um, I see that, you know, you are kind of letting your pride get in your way with that. You are, you know, maybe like fussing with your partner about it. You two aren't getting along uh, because, you know, they may be trying to talk to you about your spending and you just are getting like very upset uh, because this is something that you always do and you you want to do it. So you feel frustrated. So I see you and your partner maybe potentially getting in some issues over that. Um, and then also, you know, like if you're single, I do see that you are, um, you know, you're just very encumbered, like we said before, about your... Um, financial issues that you're just you don't really feel like you want a relationship right now you just feel very frustrated by it which is okay you know there's nothing wrong with um taking some time for yourself and um I feel like that you like you know exactly what you want to do especially with the Aquarius I know you know I feel like you're aware that there may be some issues and that you you know kind of need to chill out with the spending maybe a little bit and um, you know, make sure that you have enough money for the things that you need. Of course, it's important to be kind and do things for other people. I don't think anyone's questioning that, but, you know, I do feel like you also have to take care of yourself, which is something that I feel like for you is definitely hard to learn. And, you know, we did pull a Leo and an Aquarius card. So if you do have those two things in your sign, um, uh, fire and air, especially if you have any combination of those, you're definitely like a very, um, like intense person. And so you probably just like take over and do everything. Like if, um, your kids maybe have like a holiday party, you're definitely the, you know, room mom that goes crazy and buys a whole bunch of stuff and a whole bunch of treats and, you know, probably spends a lot of money on it which is fine, but if you know that you are going to uh, have some issues with it and uh, potentially, um, you know, get in a fight with your partner or not find someone to date because you're in such uh, debt, that may be a struggle for you. So definitely, um, you know, use your intuition and be careful about what you're spending. Again, because I do see that you may have a lot of air in your chart. Um, you know, people with air signs are very... Um, 
they're very like calculated in a way they know exactly what is important um they may be a little bit more like free-spirited and wild but they also know when it's time to crunch and get down to business so i feel like you know exactly what you need to do you have it in your mind but you're just kind of like letting that little voice uh get ignored so you know i definitely feel like it's important for you to um Remember what's important and remember that you have to take care of yourself as well. And it's not necessarily your responsibility to take care of everybody. So just make sure you're being careful. And, um, you know, I feel like this will help you and your partner get along a little bit better and have a better holiday. And also um, not just feel so frustrated with each other. I feel like that's a big deal because I do see that you very much want tranquility. Um, you know, you want to be happy. You want to enjoy yourself and even if you're watching this at a whole nother time of the year, it doesn't even matter. Um, you know, I feel like you definitely, um, you know, you just want to be happy. You want to get along. You're tired of fighting about this. You just want to do better. So definitely uh, be careful with what you're spending. You know, maybe if you buy a lot for your kids all the time or you buy a lot for other people, just make sure that you are, you know, um, being conscious of that. And then we also have weave. So, I feel as if that you have a very um, intense like social circle, you have a lot of friends, uh, you have a lot of people that reach out to you for things, you have a lot of, um, you know, connections. And so I feel as if you just like have this whole group of people, this whole like weave of people, if you will, that, um, you know, reach out to you for things and you just have like this whole connection of people that rely on you. And so that's why I feel like you're so charitous and that's why so many people really do rely on you because they know that you're going to do the right thing and they know that they can count on you. But again, just be conscious of that and be careful uh, because I do see that you and your partner or you and, um, or just like yourself in general, it's like putting a strain on your love life because either you and your partner are fighting or if you're single, you're having a hard time finding somebody because you know that your financial situation is really bad. And so it's very much like encumbering your spirit. And so you are like having that take over your whole mind and you just like aren't really interested in dating. So either way, it's adding a lot to your heart and it's not really benefiting you in any way. So just make sure that you are, you know, um, if somebody asks you for something and you know you can't afford it, like you may just have to tell them. And as hard as that may be, especially uh, with the don't let the pride get in your way, if you are like a Leo or again, another fire sign or you have a lot of fire in your chart, that may be very hard for you to do. But I definitely do feel like you know exactly what you need to do. You know that you cannot allow um, yourself to go in any more debt and struggle with your finances anymore. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me again, that information will be in my description box. So thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number three. So that's if you chose this piece of pink tourmaline. Okay, so let's see what your messages are that you need to hear right now. What are your love messages? What's important? Okay, so we have the Emperor, Discover, Serenity, Step Out of Your Comfort Zone, Yod Destiny, Hope, and we have Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. Okay. So let's see. All right. So I'm feeling like that you're, I feel like your love life right now is going in a good direction. And if it's not right this second going great, you know, maybe you and your partner are in a fight or uh, maybe you're single, but you're kind of like looking to date or you're kind of starting to date somebody. I see that your situation is going in a positive direction. Um, you know, I see that whoever you are with or whoever you are manifesting or maybe even starting to date, I see them looking at you in a very positive light. I feel like them, they, um, they very much think a lot of you, you know, they think you're very smart. They, you know, very much look up to you and view you as like a positive person in their life. And so I do see, you know, again, that 
overall, just looking at all of your cards, I see you as uh, being in a very like positive situation. And, you know, again, your partner very much looking up to you, um, treating you in a very well manner, um, being very kind, um, just overall, you know, really being in love with you, you know, um, and with destiny, I feel like this person, if, you know, you're not already, um, in a committed relationship with them, or maybe you are, and sometimes, you know, you just have a little bit of anxiety about your future, which I think is something that we all do. I feel like that this person is your destiny. This person is somebody that you are meant to be with. This person really, you know, truly does care about you and wants you to be happy. You know, this person probably like goes out of their way to make sure that you're always well taken care of. Um, and like I said, if it's not currently there, I feel like this is definitely coming for you. Um, but, you know, I do see that this person is somebody that you're meant to be with, someone that you're meant to spend your life with, someone that is going to add an overall uh, very, like, positive impact to your life. And for that to happen, you know, you definitely have to step out of your comfort zone, especially for those of you who are um, not in a current relationship or um, maybe you just started dating somebody so you're, you know, having those, like, butterflies and not really sure. You know, I see that it's important for you to really work on being yourself. I feel like that you maybe struggle with that a little bit. I feel like that you, you know, are a little bit worried to go on a date. You're worried to meet new people. Um, you're kind of worried as how they will take you, uh, which is, you know, something that we all struggle with. But I see you as being like a great person. I see this person very much, um, you know, again, really liking you a lot and um, you know, loving you and, you know, you two being together and you two enjoying your life together. So, you know, definitely learn to step out of your comfort zone. And um, even for those of you who are in a committed relationship to even like further your self worth and, you know, your uh, self esteem, it can be really great for you to step out of your comfort zone and do some things that you wouldn't normally do. So, you know, maybe if you, um, feel a little bit weird about trying something different and you feel, um, you know, scared to do something, try something different, you know, um, try a new hairstyle, try a new hair color, try a different color lipstick even, or even just like trying a new hobby. You know, maybe you've always wanted to learn how to paint, try something different. I feel like it will really surprise you and that'll definitely help raise your self-esteem as well. But again, I do see your partner as looking at you in a very positive manner and, it like slowly is breaking you down and making you feel better about yourself because, you know, maybe you feel like right now that you, you know, you're just not feeling great. And so you're kind of taken aback by how much your partner loves you. But I see that as slowly, um, like helping you discover yourself again and slowly helping you feel better and just overall, you know, adding a lot of benefit to your life. So again, stepping out of your comfort zone, trying new things, allowing this person to love you the way they do without questioning it is very important. So make sure that you're, you know, not only being kind to this person, because I see this as a very positive relationship, but be kind to yourself as well, because I feel like you are in a way like struggling with that. And I do see that in this relationship, you will have a lot of serenity, a lot of calmness you know this isn't the kind of person that you're gonna have to check their cell phone and um you know make sure that they're not sneaking out and uh things like that and you know you don't have to feel that way about this person because again i do see that this person is someone that you're meant to be with they very much look up to you and respect you as a person and so i see that you have a very calm relationship in the works or you're already in a calm relationship somebody who brings down that anxiety and just makes you feel really good and positive um so yeah, overall, I see it as a very, very serene, calm, and just very like loving and beautiful relationship. And this, I feel like definitely gives you hope and um, just makes you feel good. Because again, I feel like for you, um, you know, just when I started like pulling your cards, I feel a little bit of like anxiety for you. I feel like you maybe struggle with feeling good about yourself, feeling like you're deserving of love and deserving of a good relationship. And so I feel like that this person again is kind of like breaking you down and um, giving you hope to show that you can have a positive relationship and you can have someone who's loving you, have someone who is, um, you know, going to be there for you and you know, help you live a positive and happy life. So 
you know, I feel like this person is kind of breaking that down. And on your behalf as well, it's important for you to work on some things, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone, doing some things for yourself, um, having self-love days where you just do nice things for yourself and, you know, maybe try some different things that you haven't done before. So I definitely see that this relationship is going to give you a lot of hope and a lot of meaning and make you feel just a lot better about yourself. And lastly, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So with this card alone, that is basically um, telling me just from all the other cards that maybe you've been in past relationships where you really couldn't be yourself. Or maybe you've experienced things like with your family that you feel like you can't wear the clothes you like or do the things you like to do. Um, or maybe you like something really specific and your family makes you feel bad about it or a past relationship. I feel as if you were um, kind of like hiding yourself. You feel as if you couldn't, um, you know, do the things that you wanted to do. And so it was very frustrating for you. But now I see that you have somebody that very much wants you to be happy and cares and, um, you know, wants to be playful and fun with you. And I feel like that this person is definitely going to help you uh, recapture that youthful spirit and that happy person that you used to be, which is a really beautiful thing. You know, somebody who cares about you in that way that you can be yourself fully and not worry about, you know, what other people think and uh, feel frustrated about the way, you know, other people look at you because this person loves you for who you are. So, you know, overall, again, I just feel like this person is very much like enamored with you. They really care about you. I feel like you guys are going to have a really great relationship. Um, and if you're not already in this relationship, I do see it as coming for you. Um, again, just stepping out of that comfort zone and becoming more self-confident um, in order to, you know, feel better for yourself. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in my description box. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Welcome back, panel number four. So that's if you chose this piece of smoky quartz. So let's see, what are your love messages? What are you meant to hear right now? What is important for you to know? All right, so we have for your tarot, um, Wheel of Fortune. We have uh, Protection. Generosity, a new romantic cycle begins, Gemini, I think, awakening, and lastly we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. All right, so let's see what is going on with you. What do you need to hear right now? Okay, so... I feel like that for those of you who are in a relationship, I feel like you've definitely like hit the jackpot of relationships. Um, and for those of you who are single, I do feel like a relationship is coming your way. And we'll get to that um, once we look at a few more cards. But I do feel like for those of you who are in a relationship and, you know, are happy with your partner and are feeling like this is the right one. And um, you're probably already feeling really good about this relationship. But I see you as, um, you know, hitting that jackpot, finding a really good, like, solid partner, someone who you can count on, someone who's always going to you know, be there for you and very much care about you. I see this person as being uh, like very responsible, very kind, um, very loving. So I really do feel like overall you've hit a really great relationship. You've gotten um, a really great relationship going. And so um, I feel like just right off the bat, you know, let's just look at protection. So this person offers you a really great deal of protection for not only like, you know, making sure that you always have what you need in uh, a physical sense, uh, but they always make sure that you're feeling good as well. You know, this is the kind of person that after like a long day of work, um, you could come home and talk to someone that you could come home to and, um, you know, maybe like tell them if you've had a hard day or a good day and you, you know, both can be understanding and caring about each other. So I feel like this person definitely, um, you know, wants to protect your heart, wants to make sure that you always have what you need. So I see, you know, this person being very um, 
protective over you and making sure that you're good. So, you know, they're not going to let anything bad happen to you. They're always going to have your back no matter what. And that just comes from their very, like, good nature. They're very kind, um, you know, a very good person. Okay. Sorry if you heard that. It sounds like a speed demon driving outside my house. Um, so next we have generosity. So I feel like, again, this person is just very generous with their uh, love and also their money. I feel like that they very much, um, you know, they don't have any problems making sure that you get what you need. Um, if you're struggling with something, I feel like they're definitely the kind of person to like help you out and make sure that you're always doing good. You know, they really do, you know, care about um, you and that you always you don't have the things that are important to you. So, you know, they're very generous with their money. They're not like, um, really tight with it. They always, you know, make sure that you have exactly what you need. And for those of you that are single specifically, or, um, you know, maybe just starting a new relationship or out there looking, I do see a new romantic cycle is beginning for you. I feel as if, you know, somebody new is coming for you. Somebody who is going to definitely, you know, make you feel really good and like the things we talked about offer you a lot of protection, um, make sure that you're always good, um, be very, you know, generous and kind with you. So if you are single, you know, I do see a really positive relationship coming your way. Just definitely like keep your mind, you know, open for it. And I see this as being like an awakening for you. And for those of you who are already in a relationship with this really great person, I see that you went through like an awakening, you felt so different in this relationship. You know, maybe previously you dated people who just weren't very kind and, um, you know, you were really like frustrated in the dating scene, but I do see that, um, you know, this was a really great transition for you. This kind of showed you how you deserve to be treated, how you want to be treated, and now you are a completely different person. So even if something did happen in this relationship, I feel like it's not going to, but if it did, um, you would know what you want. You know, you would say like, okay, I don't want to be treated this way. I want this or I want that. So you would know exactly um, what to look for in a relationship. You wouldn't just be going into them uh, blindly like you may have been doing before where you we're not being, you know, fully treated in the right way, right? Okay. And then we also have uh, Gemini, I think. So, you know, I feel as if that you, you very much have like a different opinion of um, love now. You know, I think before that you were going through, you know, some struggles. And I feel like that's why this person definitely seems like a jackpot for you. This seems like a really great relationship, someone who's really giving and kind, but, you know, I feel like that you are definitely having a different outlook, and that just comes from this, like, awakening that you've gone through. So, you know, I see this, again, as an overall very positive experience, um, you know, a very positive person, a very loving person, so, you know, I do see that even if you aren't in a relationship, something really great is coming for you. And lastly, we have free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. So again, you know, with these last couple cards especially, I'm seeing that um, either you have already started taking control back by for those of you who are in a relationship or, um, you know, for those of you who are single, you are learning to free yourself and you're learning to, um, you know, be a better person for yourself so then you could find someone who matches that, that you don't feel as if you have to, um, fake it and that you have to be somebody you're not and accept any type of behavior. You're recognizing that you are uh, capable of receiving love that is kind and, um, you know, being in a positive relationship. I feel like that's something now you're seeing that that's very important for you. So you're learning to be free. You're learning to be happy. And I feel like that's, um, you know, very beautiful and a very, um, it's just like a really beautiful thing. You know, I just feel a lot of happiness from these cards. I feel like um, a very like uplifted spirit and um, just a really good situation altogether. So, you know, I feel like that you are going to be very happy and, you know, just feeling really good about your life from now on. 
So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of the information is in my description box. So thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.